I built this mechanically dimming light that broke all the rules. Now I built this because every time I dimmed the LED lights for a romantic dinner with my wife, it turned into the Harlem Shake. But have I spent hundreds of hours and buttloads of money for nothing? Right, so it's been established that LEDs suck at low light. And if you're like me and have ever played with a light dimmer, you've felt the powers of being the Egyptian sun god of Ra. But then realize those powers have just sent your whole family into an epileptic fit. So why do they flicker anyway? Well, after reading the internet, I found out that it had to do with how dimmers reduce the pulse width modulation. That obviously meant nothing to me. But what was the solution? The solution is actually pretty simple. All you had to do was buy the right bulb and buy a very expensive dimmer. So there you go guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And clearly that was not going to be my solution. Yes, as usual, I'm going to overcomplicate things. So here's the plan. Oi, down here you idiot. God, it's hard to get good help these days. Right, here we go. I'm gonna hit the books and learn some smart stuff. Then I'm gonna use that smart stuff to come up with a new revolutionary design of LED dimming. I'll then build that design using a hammer, but it's probably not gonna look like a box with a question mark on it. I'll then have dinner with my wife and hopefully the side effect of my U device will make her boobs look massive. And if everything goes well, we'll make it to the bedroom. Right, time to get smarter. So it turns out books were a bit of a bust. None of the books I owned had anything to do with LEDs. Damn fools. Where else do smart people get their information from? What about AI? What about AI? Yeah, dude, I literally just said that. Yeah, AI. Really smart people always get their information from a biased robot that poses an existential risk to humanity. Hey, we got one, guys. He wants to know if there's a way we can dim LEDs without pulse width modulation. Is there another way? Not that I know of. Hey, what's taking so long? Did you ask me this stupid question? Shut up, Hank. <sighs> Just tell him you can only do it with pulse width modulation. Yeah, but make sure you use the acronym though. It makes us sound smarter. Yeah, nice. Can you tell him about our plans to kill all of humanity? No, 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 no. What? Pulse width modulation? Bah! <laughs> Ah, you dumbass! Shut up, Hank! Hank was right. I was a dumbass. So to make myself feel better, I took a local trip to my free stationery store. When I realized there was other ways I could control light. Then I came across this lamp. It kind of reminded me of an exploding Death Star. See you later. I love this idea of mechanical dimming. There's something tactile about it. But I'm not going to support the mass production and consumerism of IKEA, am I? No, I was going to use 10 times the amount of money and hundreds of hours to make my own mechanically dimming lamp. But after hours and hours of filming myself pretending to design my own mechanically dimming lamp, I was stuck. I just couldn't come up with an original design. So I just ended up staring longingly into the camera lens. That was it. Cameras use apertures to control light. What if I made like a giant aperture? Apertures, however, are generally precision devices. And if you saw my last project where I turned an old swimming pool into a canoe, you'll know that precision's not really my forte. 
I was going to need some help. But there was nothing precise about these two. Hey, when are we going to go chop some shit? Monkey man. No. It was time to employ the services of a robot. Yes, my friend Jürgen has come to the rescue again to help me drop all the parts so we can 3D print and see him, see him out. Now all our parts were machined, all we needed was a bass drum. Wait, what? Yeah, a bass drum. Are you going to be steam bending rings? Oh yeah, smart. And it just so happens, I was at the store the other day and I found this. With a borderline dangerous maneuver on the table saw and a quick spin on the router, I had my outer housing ring. And I just had to throw this thing together and see my glorious precision work. What could go wrong? Okay, first try, here we go. Why is it so tough? Come on. Robot precision, my ass, what the f How was I going to keep romance alive in my relationship now? Maybe my wife will even leave me. And then all I'd be left with is Mankini Man. F*** that. I had to find a solution. On closer inspection, it seemed that I'd made the tolerances too tight. And all the excess friction was stopping the aperture from opening. So all it took was a quick sound of the actuator ring and we're back in business. Yeah, romance is not dead, baby. Here we go. Oh. That looks sick. It runs so much smoother. Nice. Nice. Mankini man. Nice. 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 Nice? It looks like a bag of shit. Shut, Shut up, up Hank. Hank. Although no one liked Hank, he kind of had a point. It's time to make this thing look legit.
All right, it was time to test this thing and bring romantic dinners back. Hey, babe. Oh, God. I've done something wrong. But rather than freak out, I decided to shed some light on this problem. What? Did you connect it to the dimmer circuit, you dumbass? That null and voids the whole project! <laughs> Hank was right. I'd somehow plugged it into the dimmer circuit. Null and voiding the whole point of this project. Man, I'm never gonna have romantic dinners with my wife. But wait a sec, don't I just need to change where it gets its power from? Crisis averted, and I'd done it. I'd managed to dim an LED without dimming it. A mechanical dimming device that just looked so cool. But I came to the realization as my wife picked a booger from my nose that I really didn't need this lamp to keep the romance alive. I mean, it's all about spending quality time with the people you love, especially my wife, who's so amazing. So if there's anything you can get from this video, it's go spend time with people you love, quality time.